Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about the very important topic in SAP production planning, that is bill of materials. Now, here we have to go in logistics, logistics general, material master, basic setting, and material set, define attributes for material set. These are the material types available for us. If we try new entries, it will give us a message copy an existing material type. So we have to copy an existing material type. In this case, we will do it S E R T. It's available. Uh, for that, we have to go and uh, 
10 seconds. Basic data, development data, general data, development data, we use define we are using. So here we need to define, we will be defining what we have selected. We have selected production, so we will set the production in your entry. And here we can provide the entries which we require. And order required entry in order. And we have to save the data. Now coming back to how to allow material types in your uh, Define material types allow for B1 block material here. Now it indicates star indicates the numbers. Let's have a look. All users that is not not one is for production, two is for engineering, three is for universal. Fourth is for plan maintenance. Fifth is for search and development. Uh, sixth is for costing. Seventh is for MC. Eighth is for stability study. And M is for external version display. the header like that we have to do new entries and we have to apply the header now coming on to the bill of material status now what is status status shows what is to be done what is to be done so we add this one one is selected it shows us the availability of materials. Here it is. Here it is not text here. And then that is not available. Here it shows it is active, inactive. Activate history board. What is the state of the report? Now coming back to it. Now we will go to the requirements. Now what is the civic requirement? Now here is one that says already, that is for production. So what is our requirement? We will have to save that and save the data. Now coming to the item data. And here as Donate for the stock item and donate for non stock item. Then R is variable size item, text item denotes per T, and M is intra material. Define item category. As a category. I will share the audio that is for stock item 
एम फॉर इंटर इंटर मटेरियल एम फॉर नॉन चॉक आइटम एल फॉर चॉक आइटम एंड टी फॉर टेक्स वेरिएबल Now coming to the variable size formula. Yeah, we will have to define all this. It's already been defined here. Area of a rectangle, area of a circle, area of a parameter of a triangle, parameter of a rectangle. Volume of a rectangle. There is it already defined. So we can define new formula. Yeah. So now coming back to the um, explosion. Yeah, there is only one as well as you can enter the new entry. Uh, explosion type. And we uh, have to give the description. And not to come to the last, not the least. Alternate determination. Different order of priority for the law of material. Which order it must be given the importance? Here, zero one is uh, given multiple times. Then is of uh, one, two, one, two, and like that. Then one three is a order of priority. These numbers stand for the production type usage, and we have to save the data. So we are going for the new entry. So that's it for now. We'll see soon in the next lecture. Bye. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like this video.